YouTube. Good morning. Welcome back to Michigan Ambush Outdoors. <clears throat> right now I'm uh, hiking back in. Uh, I'm not doing any squirrel hunting today, but of course if I see some squirrels, I'll gladly take them. But the main reason for coming back here today is I'm on a recovery mission. So Jamie ended up finding a dead six point during bow season this year. And <clears throat> I saw he came and pulled the stand down and asked him if he went and cut that head off. And he said he didn't. I asked him if he wanted it. He said he didn't care if I went and took it. So I'm on my way back here now. I'm gonna try and go find it and uh, see if I can't get some squirrels in the meantime too. So I got the trusted 1022 with me. I'm packing pretty light today because I promised the wife that I would come in, get the head and come home. So if we can make something happen on my way in and out, that'd be cool. Let's see if we can't find this thing. Kind of showed me where it was located so hopefully it's easy to find but oh, that was pretty nice that's actually still pretty frozen makes it a lot easier to get across that when it's frozen I probably got about a quarter mile left to go and I still got to cross the creek when I get there so I'm just gonna kind of take it a little slow and like I said see if we can't get on some squirrels so I, I'm at the spot and uh, it's not too far from here hopefully it's still there with the looks of the way that other deer was I got no idea what to expect when I get across here, but this is my problem, is I gotta cross this creek. There's the double trunked maple that Jamie was telling me. It should be about 15 yards past that. Now Jamie said there was a deadfall that you could use to cross. This stuff's thick, man. So, I'm just in the process of trying to navigate through this. And find this deadfall. Oh, there's a grub. Looks like a good spot. So I think this is the deadfall that Jamie talked about. That looks sketchy for sure. Oh man. It wasn't so bad. Now he said it was in this opening. So there's the double trunked maple right behind me. So. It's gotta be over here. Just based on the picture that he had sent. Who knows though with the snow, I might walk right over him. It's 
said it was about 15, 20 yards in. That thing is picked clean. This is it. It's its spine, its rib cage. Oh man, that thing's pretty decayed. I think we're popping the antlers off this one. Bummer, something was eating on that other one. So. All right, so now I gotta go back, get back across. Now that I know where it's at, get back across, get my gloves and knife, and then, uh, that off. So I'm back on the other side. Oh man, I had to take some layers off. I was burning up. Got my saw blade with me. Got my knife. Got my gloves. Got a double trash bag. Carry, carry this thing out of here. Man, there's a grubs galore in here, dude. You know, when you find deer like this, it always makes you wonder, you know, what happened to them. If it was, you know, CWD, or if it was just natural death, or, you know, a hunter made a bad shot and couldn't recover the deer, which is always possible out here. things gross I think what I might do is I might just saw the antlers right off and uh, take that with me because this head's pretty nasty but let's get going
<sighs> Deer recovery was successful. So I don't know about you guys, but I've heard reports of deer in Michigan starting to shed their antlers. If you guys have already been out shed hunting, leave me a comment, let me know. You know, let me know the best way to find these sheds. Because that's one thing I've always really wanted to get into. So I've never had a lot of luck. You know, I found my first shed this year. And I got lucky with these antlers because Jamie, when he was in his stand, saw a bunch of crows diving down and circling. So he knew something was over there and he went and investigated. So I appreciate it, Jamie, for letting me go in and taking those. Thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys tune in next week. Because as the temperature drops, we'll probably be back out squirrel hunting. As always, like, subscribe, and remember guys, live free outdoors. Get off that couch, put the video games down, and go out and hunt, fish, hike. It's good for you. I get great gratification in going out and harvesting food that I know I can bring home and put on the table. So get out there, man doesn't take too much I've said it before you don't need the best gear in the world to go out and hunt you just got to go do your research online figure out what state property and then just go out there so you know I enjoy I enjoy being out I enjoy hiking and fishing and hunting Every day, I'm not a country boy, so I can't really sing that song, but you know what I mean. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, hit that subscribe button right here. See you guys on the next one.